Hello, how's it going? It's been a while. I'm here in quarantine in my trash dungeon. Uh, some things I've been doing during quarantine are drinking copious amounts of alcohol, uh, not really maintaining my mental health, and reverting back to my teenage tendencies, which means like sleeping in a lot, um, downloading Wattpad and reading a 95 chapter fan fiction, and most importantly, and most detrimentally, it means rereading all the Twilight books. Now, I can't entirely blame quarantine for this. Quarantine is what allowed it to happen, but the catalyst was Miss Stephanie Meyer, our queen, announcing that she is releasing Midnight Sun after 12 years. So she originally was gonna release it, like I said, 12 years ago, but somebody leaked the manuscript and put part of it online. And then she was like, you know what? I'm not gonna do any of it and halted the release until now. So Midnight Sun is gonna be a book from Edward's perspective. It's just the events of Twilight from his thing. So we get to see uh, how they're gonna justify him sneaking into her room and watching her sleep. That'll be fun, right? Um, and also him uh, getting involved with a 17 year old girl. He's a hundred, so nice. Uh, I also, I noticed a couple things reading the books as a 23 year old. I'm in the middle of Eclipse uh, right now and some common things have come up. Mostly I realized that it's just a fan fiction. It's actually the first fan fiction I ever read. Fan fictions are usually like the love interest is unattainable and aloof and super hot, right? And uh, like a CEO or a mob boss or like just Harry Styles as a person. But the main character, your name, you're supposed to be Bella, you know? You're either just like every other girl or you're not like other girls, okay? And the Stephanie Meyer does a weird twist of both of those for Bella where she's just so ordinary. I don't know why Edward likes me because I'm, I'm just like every other girl. But then also she like is weirdly obsessed with Romeo and Juliet, which is supposed to make her different. And she reads books. No girls read books, so she's not like other girls. Oh, and she doesn't care that she's gonna be eaten. So also she's different, you know? So in that it is a fan fiction, I'm going to look at it like a fan fiction, review it like a fan fiction, say my thoughts on it as a fan fiction, because generally I give more leeway obviously to a fan fiction on say like Wattpad or AO3 or fanfiction.net, whatever. I've, I will say I've read better fan fictions on those apps than Twilight. So my review of it as a fan fiction would be that the world building is good. So like you can tell she thought out the stuff about like the vampires and how the lore is not the same as other pop culture vampire stuff and how like the werewolves are their enemies and they they only become wolves if there's vampires around like that all makes sense the treaty and stuff like good world building but the characters there's no there's no characters in the story which i'll get into in a second also reading it as a 23 year old i realized that like a, maybe I shouldn't have been reading this in fifth grade. And two, that immortality sounds horrible. Like what she wanted, the whole point of the book is that she wants him to turn her into a vampire so they can be together for end of time, till the end of time. That sounds like a nightmare. Okay, you have unlimited time to do whatever you want to do. And you're under the rules of, the, of Twilight, right? So you're frozen as a 17 year old. Also sounds horrible because I looked bad, but you like have unlimited money. You can steal stuff. You have like these special powers that allow you to like live outside of normal human rules. Okay, I can accept that. So you have all the time in the world to go do all the stuff that you wanna do. So you go do all the stuff. And then after that, then you just have to keep going. Like you just have to keep doing things. Hi, Betty. Like take a restaurant, a restaurant in your hometown that's only in your, in that town. It like not a chain. And maybe you take people there when they come to visit you, right? Do you go there often? Like do you go eat at that restaurant a lot? Even if it's good? 
No, because you've had it. You've had it a million times. Eventually that happens with every single thing. Every single experience that you could possibly do, that happens to it if you have unlimited time to do it over and over again. So that sounds like a nightmare. Also, uh, so I'm kind of, you know, on the same page as Edward with that one. Uh, being with somebody, right, for literally eternity, sure. I guess that's the part where, like, since it's a fan fiction, I'll be like, okay. But in reality, no thanks. No thank you. Just need my space, man. If I'm going to be immortal and stuff. Actually, that's probably the only way to get through that for eternity is just, like, is having somebody else there. Because if it was just you, like, getting tired of all the shit that you like to do because you do it all the time and having to go to high school constantly, forever, for eternity, is, yeah, what a nightmare. So the, the number one thing that really bothered me, though, was the character stuff. I don't know why I, I'm supposed to be Bella, right? I'm MC. I don't know why I love Edward. Why does Bella love Edward? Name a character trait about Edward that doesn't have to do with him being a vampire and doesn't have to do with how he looks. Like, so genuinely what I can come up with is like angry and self-loathing, which are not lovable qualities in a person. So there's really not a character that he doesn't really have a character. Like sometimes he's snarky. Okay, so snarky and angry and self-loathing. Like Bella, the fact that we're inside, like it's from Bella's perspective and we can read her thoughts and she still doesn't really have a character. Like I can come up with some positive traits for her. Like you can, you can argue that she's selfless and caring. You know, she cares for Charlie. Uh, those are two good things, but I can really only come up with two good things about a person that I'm inside of the mind of, you know? That's really what bothers me about the whole thing is that there's not really a character. Like, even Jacob, I just finished New Moon. Jacob has more personality in the book, but I'd also say, like, sarcastic and naive and... Like large. She just keeps saying how large he is. I can't, I can't describe these characters without saying what they look like. I can say that Edward's old. I don't think that's a character trait. Bella uh, is not like other girls, you know, but also just like every other girl. And Jacob's just like a large, naive 15-year-old. Um, so I don't know. Anyway, do I recommend reading them? In a time like this, I would say yes. I'd say if you you already read a 95 chapter fan fiction and you already exhausted all your podcasts that you're listening to and you're bored, can't go outside, can't see people, I would recommend reading them, you know, to, to get to be like, wow, I read this when I was 11. No wonder I turned out how I did. I do it. Just it's just a fun thing. You don't have to take them so seriously. The character thing does kind of bother me because it makes it hard to read the books. Oh my god, this cat. The character thing does make it hard to read the books, but it's just fun. Just relax, you know. Read the books, watch the movies again. It'll take up, you know, maybe two weeks of your time. If I get through Breaking Dawn and I feel like there's enough content in that one to talk about it because I feel like I'm going to have a lot to say about Renesmee of reading all this again, then I'll do another video. But yeah, I'm hoping to get more videos uploaded. I'm hoping to spend more time doing stuff and come up with some fresh ideas even though we're stuck inside. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited for Midnight Sun to come out. I already pre-ordered it. So in August, there will definitely be a Midnight Sun book review coming out. Yeah, um, stay safe. Happy quarantine. Wash your hands. Uh, try to keep your mind busy. Try not to get wine drunk and blast uh, the 1975. Just as a, that's just a hypothetical. Team Jacob for life!